Hello Scorpio and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Somebody does not want to let you go. I, you know, lately when I've been getting this card out, I feel this longing off of this person, okay? They realize, too, that you're not going to make the first move. I, they could have been, um, like, waiting you out, okay? Thinking that you would make the first move, thinking that you would come and chase after them, and that's not going to happen. Um, they don't want to let go of this, of this connection, though. Judgment. I feel like this person, look, a judgment. Yeah. Um, and then we've got the four of wands on the bottom of the deck. So this person definitely wants to come towards you here. They're realizing, you know, it's now or never. That's pretty much what this is. It's now or never, man. They, they, if they want to hold on to this connection, they're going to have to, they're going to have to do something about it. They're going to have to make a move in order to get this. Okay. And they're not real happy about it. This person wanted you to chase them. But, um, yeah, it's now or never, buddy. Yeah, otherwise they're going to miss out on this. They're angry. They didn't want to, they didn't want to approach you. I feel like this person did you way wrong, and they expected you to chase after them. And that's not happening. It's just not happening. You know, they're all kinds of pouty, right? Having a little hissy fit, um, pretty butt hurt over the fact that you're not coming towards them. And they're going to have to make this apology to you and they don't want to. Look at, look at them. They're like, no, the divine is shoving this cup in their face like, this is a blessing. This is a soulmate. It's now or never. Are you going to apologize or not? You need to apologize for the things that you've done. You're, this person's under judgment. They want to get back together. They do want this. But it's like they don't want to budge on it. They don't want to be the one to approach you after what they've done. And the divine is like, no, no. You need to apologize. Um, we've gotten this in readings before, but yeah. This is a now or never kind of thing. The divine is out here tooting their horn. They're like, this is it. This person's probably hearing a lot of like alarms and horns honking and like crazy noises around them. That's to alert them. That's the divine giving them messages that this is the time they need to, they need to do this. They need to come in with this apology. Um, I feel like this person was thinking possibly about other people at the time when you were together um, or they're focusing on this now. Well, other people, other people would come and chase me. Why isn't the collective? Yeah, that's sort of the feeling that I'm getting, but they've waited it out for so long that you may not feel the same way about them that you used to, okay? I feel like this flame is, is out. All the emotion is out of this lake bed. Okay, all the water is gone. Um, you could be dealing with a Scorpio, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, maybe Aries energy. Yeah, you're out here as the star. This wanted to come out with it. Look, this person is in love with the star in a lot of regret. Um, I feel like, you know, you could be in the public eye or just posting stuff on the internet, whatever you're putting out there, you're absolutely gorgeous, um, beautiful. You probably never looked better in your life. I, I, I feel like you have some kind of podium or you're this person's wish fulfillment here. They're in love with you, Collective. You could be dealing with a, a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, maybe a Virgo energy. I'm the only person out here, I think, that sees this as the, a Virgo card because it's the hermit without the hoodie, okay? Um, you could be an Aquarius, maybe a Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Take it however it resonates, but they want to get back together. Um, and this is something I feel is destined, right? With the Two of Wands, Judgment. Uh, this could very well be a Twin Flame Soulmate card, but until the, until the Lover's card comes out, that's pretty much the my only judging card for the Twin Flames is the Lover's card, okay? So it hasn't come out yet. Um, 
Yeah, I feel like this person is stalking you, watching you. Maybe they're seeing you meet somebody new. I'm getting the sense that they're going to write you a letter. They have something to say, and they're, they're holding back their face-to-face -face communication, but they may send you a letter. I'm, I'm getting the feeling like this is a letter coming to you, okay? And if you're meeting somebody new... Um, this person, I feel like they're going to be in a lot of pain. They're very emotional. Okay, this person's doing some crying over you um, in private and where no one's looking. You know, they're trying to be tough. They're trying to act like they don't care here. They're really acting like they don't care. Like, who are you? I don't remember you kind of thing. But deep down inside collective, this person's an emotional mess. This is a mess. All right? And I feel like that's what they're thinking, too. This is a huge mess. I should be with my person. It's now or never. I know I need to apologize, but I don't want to. Right? That's pretty much what they're saying here. Um, and they're out in the cold. I feel like this person could be losing a lot. Maybe I, I saw the Five of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Um, maybe having some financial issues right now. They're with somebody else. I feel like this is someone else's energy, possibly a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, this person here, whoever they're with, um, they know that this masculine wants somebody else, okay? They may even know who you are. They're just waiting for the truth. They, the, this Queen of Swords feels betrayed. You know, this could be a long-term commitment or something like that, a relationship that they've been in. Um, and they feel very betrayed, but they want the truth because this person, literally, they're having nightmares about losing you. They're having nightmares um, about the choices they made. They're waking up in the middle of the night if they're sleeping at all because this is not sleeping, okay? Um they're waking up crying. They're crying in bed. I feel like there's a there's a queen of swords that kind of steps in on them crying because they try to hide it. And she's like, well, what's going on? I want the truth. Can you just tell me the truth? I know you want somebody else. Just tell me the truth, right? Um, she wants to hear it from this person. They, you know, this masculine, I honestly, with the way they're so emotional here, um, I don't think they can handle much more of keeping this all inside, I, I gotta say. Yeah, the, you want the earth, earth angel, don't you? You're crying because the collective is, is leaving. You could be possibly moving away to a new location. Definitely earth angel energy here. Um, very well balanced. It's like you're, I don't know, you're energetically kind of saying goodbye. I'm done, you know. Um, they see you moving into a lifestyle that's going to be filled with opportunities and abundance, all this green around you. Oh, and she could be busting this person watching you on their cell phone, by the way. So she knows they're watching you. She knows they're crying over you. She knows that this person is upset over you. Earth, the earth angel energy, and she just wants to hear it from them. She knows it's pretty much over, but she wants the truth, you know? Yeah, look, look, you're their happiness, and you're one pinnacle away from having someone else steal your heart, right? Uh, you've learned your lessons. You're very abundant here. Um, you're very stable, very successful, independent, happy being single. I feel like you're a single person, but you're ready for the right love. Um, the only thing you don't have here is one pinnacle. The most you can have in the deck is ten. And this person knows if they brought you this pinnacle, if they came to make you this offer, that would make the ten of pinnacles, okay? I can also see this as um, people watching you, Collective. There could be a younger person that gives this masculine some information about you. And what they're telling this person is that you're actually out here uh, possibly buying a new home, making a house move, um, your wish fulfillment, 
Earth Angel energy, extremely abundant. If you have a business, your business is doing well. You're a big success. You're happy out here without them. They're hearing this from somebody else, I feel. And then they start crying about it. And this Queen of Swords is like, what are you crying about? I know you're thinking about this Earth Angel. I know you're thinking about the collective. I know you want to come in and make this right. And I feel like your person, man, they just want this Queen of Wands or Queen of Swords away from them. They kind of, they're like, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about this to you, you know, with you. Yeah, they want this new beginning here. They want this new beginning with you. They see you, if they make you this offer, they could have the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles with an Earth Angel and an Empress in the Minor Arcana. Somebody who's very successful and independent in star energy, on a glow up. Possibly you could even have your own platform. You know, I mean, yeah, they can't stop thinking about making this offer to you and having this victory, okay? But the fact of the matter is they've waited this out for too long. Okay, it's a now or never situation. This person is still with this Queen of Swords energy, and this connection is coming to an end. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be a Sagittarius, Aquarius, Virgo. Um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius is out here as well. Scorpio. Yeah, you are this person's wish fulfillment. The only thing they have to do, see, is grab a hold of this cup, come in and make this right. They have to take this step in order to get a, even a, just an opportunity, right? It's just an opportunity, a chance. You know, you may actually, um, for some of you, you're happy being single, you know, no one's messing with your head. No one's out here lying to you, breaking your heart, okay? You're able to work on your own abundance, having this glow up. I mean, you're doing good. You're happy, okay? Um, you've broken free from this connection. So, I mean, they're only getting an opportunity. You, you have, um, you, you'll have the choice, it's your call on whether or not you want this person back. But all they're hoping for is an opportunity. And this Queen of Swords just, I feel like they will not really leave them alone. Maybe they're being kind of bossy, kind of angry with this person. They're literally watching this person suffer. They're just watching them suffer. Okay? Because they know that your person, here's the thing, they need to apologize. They need to make this first approach. You are their wish fulfillment, though. They know they can have the Ten of Cups with you. And if they bring you this offer, right, if they make an offer to you, they can have the Ten of Pentacles, right? Well, that's this offer here. They could have the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like they're getting information from somebody else about you. Yeah, this person's in a lot of pain. They don't know what to do. They don't know what to do. I feel like they're worried because they, you know what, they're going to have to fight for love. Or there's going to be some competition coming into the picture. Like I said, you're ready for somebody new. And someone new will come in and steal your heart right away. Yep, and as I say that, the theft card is on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, they're about to get some competition into the picture. Um... Oh, man. And this person will feel very defeated. And they're doing a lot of crying here, Collective. I got to say, a lot of crying. There's fighting in the background. This person doesn't want to talk to this Queen of Swords. Um, they're, they're worried that you're going to get with someone new. They're finding out from other somebody else who's watching you. They're finding out about all of your abundance where it is that you're going in life. They're watching you on their cell phone. Yeah, look, Knight of Swords energy. This person, yep, coming in really quickly here. Uh, really quickly. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Cancer. You could be a Cancer moving forward. Driving that chariot. You know, it's the Emperor that drives, drives the chariot, right? Um, clarify this chariot. Who is this? 
This is either you, collective, or your person barreling in super fast to talk to you, okay? Feeling angry and upset because um, they missed out on a blessing here. They missed out on their person. Yeah, see, they're mad, I feel. Oh, boy. They're angry because you're about to be approached by new love. They may even be finding out that you already have new love. Okay, and they're going to be heartbroken. And I feel like at that point, you're going to cut them out of your life for good. They know this. They're, I feel like this person, they need to confront this Queen of Swords energy. There's going to be a fight that pops off. Uh, they're finding out all of this information about you through someone else. Okay, um, and they're upset. They're angry. They don't want you moving on. They don't want you leaving. They don't want to lose you. Okay, but they are about to lose you to somebody new. And when you meet this next new person, man, that's it for this connection. You will two of swords them because they're not giving you anything. They're actually acting like they don't even care. Okay, they're kind of treating you like they don't even know you. Where deep down inside, this person is falling apart emotionally. Okay. Yeah, so you're about to get some new love here. They may even think you already have new love and you're keeping it hidden. I feel like you, at least you're supposed to be keeping your moves hidden right now, okay? But there's maybe somebody, I feel like they may use your children to, to get, this could be kids, like um, older kids, you know, but... Um, I feel like you could have a boy and a girl. I don't know. But I feel like they may be getting information through your children or through somebody younger around you. And when this comes to an end, I'm telling you, there's going to be feminine energies in the background that are going to celebrate this. I feel like this Queen of Swords is going to celebrate the fact that you're cutting this person out. Um getting new love i feel like they're already starting to celebrate while they watch this person suffer and fall apart okay yeah clarify the moon in this three of cups i feel like so, um, there's a group of dark feminine energies that are going to celebrate this and your person is going to be wrecked okay they already are with the information that they're hearing about. Yeah, you're about to you're about to get snatched up by somebody new. For real. You're you're going to go from single to committed here. Um yeah, you are. You're about to meet somebody new. There's your twin flame card right there. Um uh this person's about to be replaced. And they can't stand it. They know it, too. They can feel it. They could have even been shown this, okay, in nightmares, dreams. This person seeing nightmares about you getting somebody new um, and uh, getting committed to someone else. And meanwhile, they're falling apart, and these feminine energies are dancing around like, yay, yeah. Yep, but that would be fair. I saw justice on the bottom of the deck. You could be a Cancer. You could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, heavy on Virgo, Aquarius, Sagittarius. Yeah, look, I feel like this person's about to be replaced. They invested into something else. They could have known you for years and years and years. Maybe they didn't realize here at the time, they're being shown that you were their true soulmate connection. They could be being shown that you were their twin flame soulmate connection. And they realize they, they invested into the wrong thing here. They want this new beginning with you, but um, they're really dropping the ball on this, okay? And you are about to get a replacement twin. So like, um, or you're about to meet the real person. Take it how it resonates with you. But you have, this person's about to be replaced. Period. They're about to be replaced. 
And they're finding this information out through other people. They're realizing here that this soulmate connection could have been under some kind of, you know, a spiritual contract, right? Twin flame soulmate contract. They're being shown everything, and you're standing your ground. You're like, I'm done. I've had nothing but integrity. I've shown nothing but strength. I've stood in my truth. I've got my boundaries up. I'm single. I'm happy. I'm abundant. I'm independent. I don't need anybody in the energy I'm in. I mean, this person's going to miss out. They're going to miss out on their ultimate wish fulfillment here because it's now or never. It's now or never. They, have, they Either they take some kind of action towards this or they will lose you forever. Okay? Yeah. Um, let's see how they're feeling. Okay. How is this person feeling? I feel like they're falling apart. I feel like they're a mess and whoever they're with is watching them confused they don't know what to do completely disoriented i feel like um they're puzzled too they had no idea who you were at the time now they're finding that out that you're an earth angel yeah they're in love with you yeah i feel like this is kind of surprising for this person actually feeling very vulnerable they know that they're losing you collective they know it they know a karmic storm is coming for them as well yeah, and you're out here having a victory, meeting somebody new. They're very suspicious, okay? They're very suspicious of whether or not you have somebody new, okay? Jealous, watching you, watching to see who this is, right? Um, yeah, you're definitely having a victory out here. But meanwhile, they're with somebody they could share a baby with or um, share a child with. They're not interested in this person like they are with you. This is platonic love. This is a buddy with a baby. They don't feel what they they don't feel the same way about them that they do about you. They feel romantic, passionate love with you. And without you, they're completely unfulfilled. All this person can do is watch you. They're fascinated by whatever it is that you're doing in star energy and the way you're um you're like leveling up, right? Very quickly upgrading in your life, very quickly. Um, and you're very masterful at what you do. They love what you do. So whatever you're putting out in the internet, they're watching every little single thing. But I feel like we all already knew that. Um, but now they're, they're suspicious. Um, it's making them want to want to watch you more because they want to find out if you're with somebody new or not And whether you are or not, it's about to happen. I'm telling you it's about to happen um, You're not going to be single much longer and they know that They know it Let's see what they want to say What does this person want to say to the collective? Don't forget about me. I haven't forgotten about you. See, they're making it seem like they have, though. This person could have kept their back turned towards you for up to three years. You know, acting like they don't care. You never heard from this person. Ever since they put you in a third party and walked away, you haven't heard from them. I never experienced this intense connection before. Yeah, see, they're finding out. Um, that this was actually a twin flame, okay? Um, they're being shown that, I feel, in dreams and nightmares. I will take action soon. Please believe in me. See, that's just it, though. I feel like whether they take action soon or not, you're already disconnecting. You're already moving forward with your life, and you're about to get new love. That isn't going to make you sit around and wait. See, please be patient because I'm afraid of commitment. Yeah, but you're not going to sit around. They want you to keep waiting. They don't want you with anyone new. Okay? They're really stressed out that you're out here dating somebody or meeting new people. 
I feel so guilty about my actions and what I said to you. I feel empty without you, and that's this. Yeah, all confirmations, guys. Very dissatisfied, incomplete, unfulfilled. They feel empty without you.